Hi guys, that's me, and this is just a quick update on uh, the Talos Pain engine that I've, uh, or engines that I've been putting together. Uh, here they are in front of you. You may have seen these in some recent videos that I've done where I've just been talking about things. The more I look at these models, the more paint I put on them, the more I can't get enough. I, mean, I am absolutely in love with these models. They just they're just beautiful. I don't know what it is. They just seem amazing. <laughs> just the detail and the, the lines. Whoever designed these, I should probably find that out. Whoever designed these just deserves a model. A, a, mo a model and a medal, yeah. It's fantastic. Uh, so, last video I put up of these, I had the one magnetized, and of course they are you know, both completely magnetized. So everything just pops off. Of course, one of the great things about this is the flexibility and what you can do with the model, but one of the absolute pain in the arse things about it is the, just the sheer number of things that you've got to paint. So you've got the very basic job of painting the actual guys, making them look a bit different, which is all well and good. That's what you expect when you buy two monstrous creatures. Of course, what you're not expecting is having to paint up eight of these so I've just got these ones I actually haven't painted all that much I think I've dry brushed the uh, the dark green on there's just loads of it so I'm gonna have to paint up all of those and then you've got two of these awesome matrix looking things one of my favorite parts in the model is then you've got the arms themselves, so you've got the actual, well, just, just the forearm parts. I'll just pull these apart. So you've got four of them. Again, just keeping it quite basic with the silver on the spikes. On top of that, I think I've just lost one. <laughs> I haven't put any paint at all on these. I, I haven't got around to, around to these at all, they're just dry brushed. There's those. Then you've got all the bits that go in the arms, you've got blades, you've got hooks, you've got hands. By the way, these hands are pretty cool. Big fan of the hands. <laughs> Again, they're not, not really painted very well. So you've got all of these, more hooks, more hands. And you've got these, these are pretty cool. Because you'll notice that I've actually cut a couple of these rolls of chain off the bottom. I don't think it's missing much by taking those off, as I wanted something distinctive to put on top of the uh, the Talos pain engines, as you can see, when I get this to focus. I've used them as the two front pieces on the top there. I think that's a, a pretty nice effect. But uh, yeah, loads to paint, but I am I can't get enough of these models. Uh, if I could field 20 of them in an army, I, I think I probably would. Uh, just absolutely love them. So you can expect them to be painted uh, more as I go through. And, uh, and and so there's going to be more videos of these guys, but I just wanted to let you know what what stage they're at. A lot of people were uh, looking forward to them being painted from the comments I got on the first video. So yeah, this was just a, an update on uh, how that's going on. And uh, that's it really. Stay well, guys, and I'll I'll see you in the next one.